Hello guys, welcome to the Lee Chucky YouTube channel. Hope you guys are all doing really well this weekend. Um, as I'm recording right now, the Man City game has just finished and I am now currently about half an hour before the Man United West Ham game. So I'm going to be touching on a couple of things um, today. I'm going to be touching on the Leicester Sheffield United game. I'm going to be touching on a little bit on the Man U West Ham game just because I'm a United fan, obviously. And uh, the game's in half an hour, so I just wanted to touch a little bit about um, a couple of things. I also want to explain um, what this is and how I'm going to do it. So basically, what this is, is the Winksy Roundup Show. Um, I've talked about this before on the live streams that Lee has done. And basically, what this show is going to be is at the end um, of a game week, so either on a Sunday or a Monday, I'm going to try and do this show covering all the games and scores and how that um, determines, um, you know, all the other clubs on the Premier League table. You know, what, what this is going to look like for teams such as Leicester or Man U. And, uh, yeah, cover it and see what, what basically what this means for the next week. This is obviously a one-off. Um, this show is going to be a bit more of a preview for Leicester and uh, other little games like Man U today. As uh, I just wanted to explain what this show is going to be about. So this is going to be a little bit of a one-off. Um, obviously, I'm probably not going to be as fluent as this is my first time. So just give me a break a little bit. And um, yeah, we're going to try and see how we we can do. So this is going to be a premiere, so it's going to be a little bit like it's live. As you can tell, the setup is not a thousand times, um, you know, amazing. It's not amazing at all. It's um, it's nothing compared to Lee, Lee's um, setups. It's literally just standstill, um, basic, but it, it looks decent. I think it looks all right. It, it, I think we'll get away with it. Um, obviously, I've not got the accessories Lee has, like a PC, or um, or the you know the big things you need to make a setup animated or whatever. So this is, is this is what it's going to look like until I can go live and have a setup that can have the animations and graphics or whatever. But yeah, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the Leicester game first. So let's see are seeking their sixth successive victory against Sheffield United in all competitions tomorrow. And um, basically, well, that what I have to say about that is that Leicester are going to be confident. But you've got to uh, remember that Leicester are not in the best of forms recently. I think since losing to Liverpool, they've drawn one and lost two. Um, one of them being uh, bottom of the table or almost bottom of the table, Fulham. Um, which Sheffield United are sitting comfortably at the bottom right now. So, uh, yeah, you've got to remember that anything can happen right now. And this is the time to play Leicester City, as I've said many times to Lee. If um if it was Man U playing if there was Man U playing them next I'd be ecstatic because this is the time to play them. The Blades haven't beaten Leicester in any of the past eight meetings in the league and cups, um which is you know quite surprising. It it makes it seem like Leicester's very comfortable. Um and as I said just a second ago, anything can happen. It is football. Sheffield United's most recent top flight win over Leicester was back in April. 1974 wow when they triumphed 4-0 at Bramall Lane so as you can probably imagine 1974 that is a very long time ago so Leicester are going to be incredibly in favour here um, but as I said there hasn't been that many meetings between the clubs and uh, it's very similar to how they, uh, the Fulham statistics were so you know, they've not played that many games um, together, so anything can happen. And Sheffield United, yes, they haven't been the best this season, but they did very good last season. And I know they've lost some of their best players, but they can play football. You've seen it before, so why can't they turn up and beat Leicester? I mean, this this could be the time. And, uh, yeah, anything can happen. And Leicester, at the minute, are looking flat out. They're not looking great. They've... They just uh, lost 1-0 in the Europa League against a taxi team, which Lee's, Lee likes to uh, pronounce them as. So, yeah, they're not looking great. Although Leicester have got one of the top strikers in the business with Jamie Vardy, who has scored five Premier League penalties in this campaign. 
one more than Sheffield United's entire goal tally. So if you look at it like that, you, you, there's a massive gulf between you know the sides this season. And not only that, Jamie Vardy, um, you know, he's been smashing the goals in left, right, and centre, and no no player scored more goals away from home in the Premier League this season than Jamie Vardy, with seven out of his eight goals coming on the road. So, you know, what I mean, it, Jamie Vardy is looking incredibly good this season, and he could be on for another Golden Boot. You never know with this guy; he he just keeps proving time and time again that age is just a number. So, you know. We, we could be seeing some, some smashing goals from Vardy and the Leicester team. Um, so, yeah, Leicester are looking at the strongest side going into this match. But don't doubt Sheffield because they can play football. So, I'm just going to identify one of Sheffield United's most dangerous players. And that is Ollie McBurney, who's had 19 shots in, the, in this season's Premier League. Almost twice as many as any other Sheffield United player. But he's not scored yet. Which kind of sums up Sheffield United's season. Um, yeah, it's just really not looking that great for them, and um, well, we'll always go to find out. And at the end of the day, this this pre Premier could really just backfire into my face, me doubting them so badly. But yeah, I'm going to get onto the score predictions very soon. I just wanted to mention that it <laughs> Chris Wilder is still looking for his hundredth win in all competitions as a Sheffield United manager. Will it come against Leicester? We're about to find out. But um, my score prediction, which probably will be different to Lee's, and he will probably tell you his in the watch along. I reckon it's going to be a 2-1 Leicester City win with a Vardy goal and a Yori Tillemans goal. Um, I know they're very specific, but I just that's just what I think. I think Yori's been playing one of the best players for Leicester this season. So I reckon he'll grab one and obviously I think Vardy will get on the score sheet as well. As Lee's mentioned in his other live streams, um, Vardy was a Wednesday boy, wasn't he? So um, he won to grab a goal on against the uh, his rival. So yeah, that's that's my score predictions. I'm just going to quickly mention the Manchester United West Ham game, which is coming up in about ten minutes now, because obviously I'm editing this, so it's not going to be live. But yeah, Manchester United are facing West Ham um, today after losing three one to PSG in the Champions League. Do I think Manchester United are going to win? Possibly. I mean, possibly. They've they benched Bruno Fernandes, which I really don't understand why they've done that. Um, it's very strange. I mean, obviously, they're going to be resting Bruno, but isn't this the time we want to be picking up points for the Prem? We're not looking like title contenders, so why would we ditch our best player? I mean, he's not got a knock, so you should play him. They're professional athletes. They should be playing in, you know, game after game. So I'm a little bit upset with that, but especially when I've got him in my uh, fantasy league. But I'm going to leave him in because he'll make an appearance and probably grab his assist. So I'm not going to waste a substitute on that. But anyway, that's a whole different story. Um, yeah, back to what I was going to say. Do I think Manu are going to win? Yes, I do think they could possibly win. I reckon if we do win, it'll be convinci convincingly. It'll be a 3-1, I reckon. I never like going for clean sheets because most teams this season haven't you know, kept a clean sheet. It's very tricky to uh you know keep a clean sheet this season because it's so just just a random season so yeah i do think it's going to be a free one i don't think um man you have got the best defense so they they're not very good at keeping uh you know the players out i need to tell you guys the last 10 fixtures between man U and west ham so we can get a little bit of a comparison on what maybe the game will be tonight basically i'm going to go off a man U perspective so man U drew against west ham 1-1 last game then the last game before that, they lost 2-0, then they won, then they lost, then they drew, then they won, then they won, then they won, then they drew, then they lost, then they won, and then they drew. So there's a lot of losses and there's a lot of draws. So that's something else that we can expect tonight. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be a very good game. Um, and I do reckon uh, Bruno will come on and probably bag an assist because he's just that type of player. So guys, I hope you did enjoy the premiere today. I really do hope that I can get on a live stream soon and do uh, one of these shows. I feel like it will be better when I've got um, when I do one of these shows at the end on a on a Sunday or a Monday after all the games are finished, as I'm going to have all the fixtures and I'm going to have the statistics and whatever, so I can have a good old chat. But um, I'm going to try and make my make sure that I'm in the chat to uh, talk to you guys with my account in the uh, you know the the typing. 
way as I can't really read your comments out right now, can I? But uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the uh, the premiere today. If you want more of these shows, let me know. As obviously, this is just a, a beginning type show. So if you don't want it, you know, tell me to flag it off and I'll, I'll tell you that, you know, no one wants it anymore. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, and yeah, stay safe. Um, you know, keep washing your hands and whatever if you believe in this nonsense. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. I just wanted to quickly mention that, that the video that you saw at the start of the premiere, that is Lee's new intro. So if you guys did like that intro and you want to, to keep it like that, we kind of went for the expressions dash AFTV chant theme at the end. But if you like the intro, let me know as well um, in the comments right now because I'm going to be going to be looking at it. So, yeah, let me know. And yeah, apart from that, yeah, I'll let you guys go. See you later.